I have edited and delivered nearly 1 million photos in my wedding photography career. The math on that is 1,100 weddings times 900 photos on average, which equals nearly a million photos delivered. And yes, that is a lot. That doesn't even include the engagement sessions, the travel, the everything else that I've done, my commercial work, that's just weddings only. And now while we do have the support of AI editing to assist us, I still do have to go through the gallery to make some additional edits in Lightroom Classic. And I have something to talk to you about today. This is the Tourbox Elite Plus a compact editing console built to make your editing easier. I've been using it on real wedding galleries at home and now we're taking it on the road because it's really easy to bring with us in Japan. If your algorithm is anything like mine, you've probably been seeing the tour box for years now on paid ads as well as here on YouTube. My friend Donna has made a video about it and lots of others. And there have been a few versions of it. This here is the tour box elite plus. It's a tactile controller for the programs that I use every day. It comes in a few different versions. This one here, the elite plus is the flagship version. And with it, you get haptic feedback, Bluetooth, iPad support, enhanced components, and overall just a really solid feeling device. And looking at those ads over the years, I really thought that this was just gonna be a video game controller or something that felt like a toy. It didn't really strike me as a professional tool. Maybe it looked too small, I, I don't know what it was, but after holding it in real life, I am very impressed with the build quality and also the weight. The controls are tactile and the clicks are very nice when you push the buttons in. It gives you tactile feedback and also the versatility to customize it exactly as you'd like. Don't don't let the customization stress you out though. If you've ever tried to run another controller for editing, you've probably had to start at absolute zero and it's honestly pretty overwhelming. That means first figuring out how to connect it and what interface to, to use on your computer. But then also mapping out all the buttons manually or downloading files to, to try to customize it from some random stranger that probably works in a completely different way than you would. Well, with this here tour box, there's just a built-in preset for Lightroom Classic and it's honestly pretty close or exactly what you're going to want to use long-term. Tour box has made built-in presets for all the programs on the screen here. So you don't have to build anything from scratch, which is honestly really intimidating. Thousands of hours of thinking as well as feedback from real customers have gone into the creation of these profiles. It's just really Really easy to get started. It's also going to work with all the creative tools that you're going to use every day. Uh, that means if you're like me, you're going from Lightroom Classic into Premiere Pro to edit this video. Wow, so meta. And switching programs is really intuitive and your new profile just pops up whenever you switch over to that program. Another big complaint I had with USB controllers in the past was the latency. So that would mean when you would spin a dial or touch a button, it would take a moment for that to happen on the screen. And when you are adjusting something like exposure or white balance, you want that to happen in real time as if you were just using your mouse and keyboard. And I have good news because it just finally does. This is actually the first device that I've used that happens in absolute real time, or I'm sure that there is some, some millisecond latency, but there's no noticeable latency when you are moving these in real life. The ergonomics and the size are also great. I have the partially transparent Tourbox Elite Plus, and it looks really nice. It's not just an Xbox controller that's gonna be sitting on your desk. It actually just looks like professional tool. It can also work either through USB-C if you want to have it plugged in or if you just want it wireless like this, you can go over Bluetooth. I was also very surprised to learn that this is iPad compatible. So if you are an iPad editor, I would say that this is an amazing option because now you don't have to connect a keyboard or anything to your iPad in order to edit a little bit easier. You can just use this. Now, going into Lightroom, the tour box is already there on launch and maybe the coolest feature that's not really even a feature, I wouldn't say of the tour box, but now you just have the full screen to actually see your image. You don't have to have all the dials and the panels out that everything is happening within the tour box. And honestly, it's really, really nice to look at, especially um, my home monitor is, is very large. It's not that large, that's a television. But it is a lot larger than this here MacBook uh, that I use for travel. And I really feel a difference in that, especially when it comes to, to really seeing what's going on in images and making location specific edits, which uh, Tourbox can help you with. And to be able to see the image full screen is just really, really nice. It's also just a way more enjoyable way to add it as well. This floating panel or any of the floating panels can go wherever you want it to. This means you can drag it onto another monitor. If you have another monitor, that's really nice. Tourbox comes pre-configured out of the box. Uh, the essential Lightroom panels like these are built in. And when I got into Lightroom for the first time with Tourbox, you just start hitting dials and things are instantly happening. And it's really intuitive when you do go into it for the first time. There really is no complex setup or learning curve. And if you are after something very specific, you can customize it and this, it's fully customizable within this panel here. And you can even customize it down to the physical feedback that it's going to give you in the device when you rotate the dial. 
you feel the, the clicks of what you're doing and, and the wheels as well. And if you like that, I do like that. You can, you can make it click more or less. And if you don't like it, you can make that go away, which is really nice. You can also have different panels based on the type of session you're editing, or if you're in a studio and have multiple people using the same computer. You could have additional setups for everyone. When it comes to color, things get really easy here. Look at this. You have hue, saturation, luminance, all in one easy unified panel. No more clicking between buttons and sliders. Very easy. And maybe one other note on editing with the tour box is that you are actually looking at this whole image while you're editing. You're not shifting your focus to side panels and back and forth and back and forth. You're just looking straight at the image while you make your edits. The dynamic panel is also really smart. When I select masking or healing in Lightroom, the corresponding panel just appears and it's really fast. It just makes the entire process feel really intuitive. And when it comes to small, precise adjustments, it's a lot, of, if you've ever used a mouse, you've probably used a mouse. If you haven't used a mouse on a computer, congratulations. When I'm using a mouse, I find that the very, very small adjustments are a little challenging. And with the tour box, you have very, very precise control over exactly what you're doing, which is great for color editing. All right, now let's edit an image from start to finish. So I've set two buttons up to go to the presets that I most commonly use. So this is a straight out of camera image. This is adding clean 2020 and this is adding TJ gold. Let's edit from TJ gold. I'm going to go down to tone since my preset gets me most of the way there. I'm going to remove a little bit of contrast and then I'm going to go up to exposure. Maybe it was actually right the way it was. My preset does add these settings and I'm going to go over into presence add a little less texture and then white balance and move it around a little bit maybe warm around there looks pretty good now loading into another image of me you hit tj gold and it's not good that's that's my preset making things weird there's too much grain on it i'm going to go over here to clean and i like that as a starting point a lot better down into tone i think the white balance is good enough i'm going to increase the exposure bit and I'm actually going to bring down the contrast and shadows up a little bit to balance things and then I'm going to maybe pull the highlights back somewhere to there and maybe some more shadows there we go I'm happy with that if I did want to change up any of the colors I can come over here hit the right arrow and I can adjust individual colors so I can get full control over everything in this image. We're at Yodabashi camera and we've come across tour boxes in the wild. This here is the light. This is the one that I have. Other variations. Very nice. As I mentioned with the, the lack of latency, you're getting full precision in what you're seeing. You're not running some sort of workaround. The, the, the dynamic panel here just shows you exactly what's happening in real time. It's not, I guess, the other systems can mirror Lightroom sliders and you're kind of moving things, but you're not really moving exactly what's going on in Lightroom. With the tour box, you are seeing exactly what you are doing in Lightroom. So that means that it is 100% accurate with no deviation and overall just feels smoother. You'll also notice that whenever I switch between different modules in Lightroom, the tour box switches the panel layout for you. And when it comes to Lightroom, it's just going to quickly speed up your workflow. It's going to give you more screen real estate to edit your photos and it just keeps up. You can also set up macros. So if you are doing the same things over and over and over again, you can just record them and set them to be a single button, which is great. Now I do spend a lot of time in Lightroom, but as a hybrid photo and video creator, I am also in Premiere Pro a lot and like most people, I, I think now at least, we kind of learn things on our own or watch YouTube videos, try to figure stuff out. So I don't know if I'm actually doing everything correct or as efficiently as I possibly can. So it's actually really nice to have this device set up with those thousands of hours of thinking and mapping the buttons to exactly what professionals use. And when I launched into Premiere for the first time, I just started hitting the buttons and I, and I was seeing what it was doing. It's obviously going to make your life easier for navigating around your, your timeline. You can zoom in, you can scrub through everything just way faster. I would say that on its own is, is worth getting this. But the other buttons come pre-configured to do things that I, I've used, but I didn't use them ongoing. And now, now I'm thinking to myself like why I should be using this tool more, why wasn't I? Again, it's fully customizable. So if there is something that you do that the tour box doesn't do straight at the box, you're able to customize it very easily. And then when it comes to color, I am a notoriously not great video color editor, colorist. I don't even, can't even pronounce the term for it, I'm so bad at it. 
And having the tier box really helps me dial in those precise adjustments and get a little bit closer to what I want it to look like at the end of my color correction session. I really need to, I don't know, do a full course on color, I think. Although I feel like we now have some AI assistance for color as well, but we're probably a ways away from having a fully edited video that you just dump footage and hit a button. And even if that is the case, the tour box will still be a great assistant for finalizing those projects. There's also an element of fun to it as well. It's just fun to use. The tactile feedback. And you can go through, like look at how fast I'm going through my Lightroom photos. I don't even think you can do that on a mouse and keyboard. Or if you can, you'd have to customize a bunch of stuff. Now, really fast, I like it. So there is that element of fun to it and after 20 years of editing photos to do it in a slightly different way, it's kind of nice. So after seeing the Tourbox four years on paid ads, I was indeed skeptical. This here Tourbox Elite Plus is really an incredible product that integrates into my workflow really quickly and just makes everything easier. So if you're looking for a way that's a little bit fun to speed up your editing, one that I didn't even realize I was missing, check out the Tourbox Elite Plus and I'll put links down below to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. I'll just be here scrolling through my Lightroom photos really fast. It's like the back wheel on Canon. You don't shoot Canon, you don't get this wheel. And whenever I shot Canon for a year or two, I really enjoyed playing with that back wheel and now I have it, now I have it again in Lightroom. So I can play with it all the time rather than just on wedding days. Thanks for watching. Links down below. See you again next time.